Welcome to Freely Whole Creative, where we're making beauty from ashes. Today is the first day of 2022, and I am going to do some mixed media Bible journaling today out of Luke chapter 4. If you're inspired by what you see in any way and you're not watching this on my website, I invite you over to read the coordinating blog post where there is more information about the supplies and the process for this. And also another post where I share my reflections about this scripture. We're going to be looking at verses 18 and 19. And this is where Jesus has gone into the synagogue and picked up the scroll to teach, as was his custom to do. And he read from Isaiah 61, which said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and, to recover of, and recovery of sight to the blind to set at liberty those who are oppressed, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Without further ado, let's head on over and get started on the journaling. I already have my die cuts prepared, but I still have some work to do on the page itself. So the first thing I'm gonna do is use this kind of brick wall type stencil and stamp and I'm going to use a blending tool first just to blend a little color behind the stencil. This stencil and stamp even though they come as a set do not perfectly match up um, on top of each other. When you stencil it's going to be a little bit different in the rows then the stamp stamps out. But we're just wanting to get a little bit of a background in here. So there's some stenciling. And ink up the stencil stamp and do a little stamping of detail on top of that. Like I said, they're not going to match up perfectly, but we're just going to put them on here just to add a little bit of a background to the page. The next thing I'm going to do is add my cage. I have cut this out with my die cut machine and ink blended it to color it. Obviously, I could have used black cardstock also, and then I wouldn't have had to color it, but these things were at hand, so that's how I did it. And get our cage put on. Next thing I'm going to do is to stamp a big butterfly that has been set free out of that cage. Now on this butterfly, I do not want his antenna, so I'm just going to wipe those off. And I do want to overlap just a little bit here because my top things are going to take up quite a bit of room up there. The next element I'm going to add is a heart. Jesus heals our broken hearts. I have ink blended this as well as stamped over it with kind of a crackly um, stamp that shows the healed parts of our hearts and the wings of being set free.
the last thing I'm going to add to this page are the words freely whole and I have cut them out. I've already inked them and cut them out of my die cut and I am going to save this little background area to glue the letters on so that it'll be um, easy to get them placed pretty much how I had them before. They're kind of fiddly little letters for gluing. I'm going to add a little piece of washi tape to hold this down just to try to keep it kind of straight. It is going to go over the words just a bit, but it won't go over the scripture that I'm highlighting on this page, so that's okay. I have other Bibles to read in, and actually it doesn't even cover a complete word, so I can figure out what it says in there. I need to punch these last couple letters out here. One of the easiest ways to um, glue those on is going to be by filling it in from the template here rather than putting it on the back of the little tiny pieces. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue. I just have to be sure to remove my template before any glue seeps through it and soaks through. Oops, I've got a little sliver under there. Okie doke. And we'll pull that up, and there's our first word. Now we'll put on our other word, same way, just outlining the letters with the glue. And then inlaying the letters inside of there. And lifting off our template. And carefully taking off our washi tape. And there we have it. Freely whole. Luke 4.18. The last thing I'm going to do is stamp the date on it. So I know when I created. I'm going to stamp this up at the top and I'm going to add my heavy plastic mat underneath here just so I have a smoother surface to stamp on. And I hadn't noticed before the end of the year that my date stamp ended in 2021 so I've got to write in 22 myself and find an updated date stamp. But there we have it, our scripture page for Luke 4.18. I want to do one more thing, and that is add a washi tape tab so that I know that this is a page that I've journaled on. And I'm just going to stick that on the page here and make a tab out of it and fold it over sticking out on the other side. There we go. There's our page. If this project inspired you in any way or to see um, other projects that I've done, head over to my website, freelyhole.com. If you're inspired to make some projects based on these, 
join our groups at either MeWe or at Facebook, Freely Whole Creative, or Freely Whole on Instagram, and post your pictures and be sure to tag me in them. Until next time, keep making beauty from ashes, and may Jesus make you freely whole.